Hello YouTube friends. Here's a uh, very important bit of knowledge for a miter saw and cutting angles. And I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube that try to explain it. And they do a good job with getting you to the right angle, but they don't explain the angle very well. So I'm going to teach you real quick what's being done wrong. This is a 45. Which makes a right angle, which is 90 degrees total. Got me a framing square here. You can tell what that is. A right angle. So everything is based off of this edge. Cutting this line right there at 45. So if you want anything different than 45, I'll show you on the saw when you need less than that. Alrighty, now it works with the miter saw. The reason 45 works for everybody is because it's half of 90. Technically, all the math comes off of here, not off the back. So, if you need to cut anything less than a 45 degree angle, your board actually has to sit just like this. So, with that being said, let's say I've got a 60 degree wall. I'm trying to butt up two pieces of wood together. Now, I need a, technically need a block stop here so that I keep the true 90. Got my piece of wood here for my 90 degree stop. Now that's a true 90 comes off that angle so we're going to set this at 30 you back to the table I'll show you how this is a true 30 degree angle as you can tell there's the true 90 so when I put this together it's got me a 60 degree angle so anytime you need to cut anything less than 45 you have to hold that board at a 90 or change the measurements on the miter saw the only time you're going to get anything different than that when you hold it against the back of the miter and you turn that angle if it says 20 degrees it's going to give you an actual 80 degree cut on the wood when it's held against the fence of the miter I'll go in the house and show you what that true 45 looks like, explain a little more of the math. Okay, friends. This was showing the flat side of the wood out there. So if you go from here, starting at zero, this makes 45. All the way through makes 90 degrees. So, a lot of people have seen that cut that I made, and they call that 60 degrees. There's no way that that's 60 because you're going from 0 to 45, and 60 is over here, so that's a greater angle. So, just trying to educate you, 
so that you have a better understanding of how to cut an angle. So if you were actually to make an had a corner that was 80 degrees or say 85 you would need to cut that at 42 and a half on the center. So to get that 42 and a half zero is from here and zero on the miter saw is straight ahead. Alrighty YouTube friends, thanks for watching. Hope this really helps. Subscribe please to the channel. If you think it was beneficial, I got more videos, more tips, tricks, more creative ideas I've been involved in. Thumbs up if you would. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.